Mike Jackie, the ad focuses on a 2007 case where Zapala's office filed charges against a woman who had a miscarriage and then put the fetus in her freezer. Charges against her were later dropped. Today, Zapala called the ad a lie, but the woman's lawyer says it's true. Zapala's the one who jailed a woman who had a miscarriage, then charged her with concealing the death of a child. That is true. District Attorney Stephen Zapala did jail Christine Hutchinson after she had a miscarriage and put her fetus in the freezer. She was held in jail on a $500,000 bond for seven days. She was released after a judge reduced the bond. Charges against her were dropped seven months later. Zapala says the ad does not tell the full story. All we did is we kept her in the system by having charges lodged so that she would have access to mental health treatment. The government provides that, and we do that on a regular basis for, for, uh, for people. But Hutchinson's lawyer produced this memo from the jail's behavioral unit, clearing her for release the day after she was jailed. Still, she was forced to stay in jail another six days. It's an outrageous argument to contend that he was going to provide her with some sort of help by incarcerating her. Zapala's campaign produced this letter from Fisher several weeks after charges were filed, saying Hutchinson and her family were elated that charges would eventually be dropped. We had an understanding with both her and her family as to how we were going to treat, treat her as we move forward. We were going to take care of her. He's out of his mind. There's no way that uh, his prosecution of Christine Hutchinson was supported by anybody who knew or cared about Christine Hutchinson. The Shapiro ad was denounced by local women, including County Controller Chelsea Wagner. It's also an affront, not just to Steve's record, but to every woman in this community that they are trying to use as pawns. The ad also hits Zapala on the abortion issue, saying he refused to answer a questionnaire from Planned Parenthood. Zapala said he never saw the questionnaire, and he is pro-choice. Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Still to